Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours. In today's video, I'll show you how to install all the components so anyone with real traffic, PSXT and AIG can experience realism like I'm demonstrating right now in these shots. All of these apps work well together and getting them set up is fundamental to having a usable and a realistic add-on. This video is a tutorial on how to install each program. Real traffic aggregates and stores global aircraft position data every two seconds and weather for over 5,000 airports globally every 10 minutes and makes that data available to your simulated aircraft in real time live. There are two subscriptions available. The standard edition provides real time traffic only, while the pro edition includes both live and historical traffic, allowing you to fly at any date and time between mid 2020 and today. PSXT injects live aircraft within range of your aircraft into the simulator. It creates a connection between the simulator and real traffic and injects AI aircraft taken from the AIG set into the sim as counterparts for the real live ones, based on traffic data coming from real traffic. To download the software, just click on available here under the MSFS header. The AIG manager installs liveries, flight plans, aircraft, traffic and sound files which can be used for injection into Microsoft Flight Simulator, providing realistic aircraft models. PSXT users only need to install the AIG AI Manager for the models and deliveries, not the AIG Traffic Controller, as none of the AI features are needed. We are all, after all, using real and not fake traffic. We will now go through the installation process for each application, and I'll guide you through the setup process. It's important to note that all editions of Microsoft Flight Simulator work with the default settings of PSXT as long as it was installed in the default location. First of all, you need to download real traffic from the website, as you can see here. Once downloaded, you simply run the real traffic launcher setup. Just follow the instructions and click run, followed by yes, agree to the terms, click next. And here you can see the default destination folder and everything will be set up accurately using this default location folder. Now we click on next, followed by install, and this completes the installation process. And lastly, click Finish to close the dialog box. To install PSXT, you need to go to the website and download the program by clicking on the link on the screen. Once the zip folder is downloaded, you simply extract the setup file onto your PC. I put it on my desktop to keep things simple. Next, you click on the setup file and click Yes. This starts the setup, so you click OK for English, unless you want another language. And you accept the terms, click Next. And here you can see the default destination location folder, which is in the C drive. Remember, this is all set up to work with a default location, so I highly recommend you save it to this location. Click on Next, followed by Install, and this completes the PSXT installation. As mentioned earlier, PSXT users only need to install the AIG AI Manager for models and liveries, not the AIG Traffic Controller. You can follow the AIG installation instructions from the PSXT Quick Start Guide here to get this set up. This is a great guide that comes in very handy for notes, so I recommend using it as a reference point. I'll now go through how to configure each application for optimal use in Microsoft Flight Simulator. After opening real traffic, you can view traffic at any airport by using spotter mode. To do this, you select an airport from the spotter location drop-down list. You can then start typing the ICAO code for any airport to make selection very quick. For example, to go to Los Angeles, start by typing KLAX with the airport drop-down list selected and the selection in the drop-down will automatically jump forward to Los Angeles International Airport. Press enter or return and real traffic will relocate to that location in spotter mode and show traffic instantly, as well as update the weather about 10 seconds later. If you're not seeing any traffic using PSXT, this is a quick method to verify there is indeed traffic in the real traffic system available for that location. Don't forget to switch the simulator in use setting in real traffic back to PSXT if you're using spotter mode. If you forget to do that, real traffic will not fetch the traffic for the location of your simulator. And here we have the PSXT app open. I just want to highlight the default installation path. You can see here is the C drive, users, user with app data, roaming, Microsoft Flight Simulator, packages. This is the default setting for Steam users. Note that store users will see a different path. If you've set yours up differently, you're going to have to make sure that's accurately pointed towards wherever you save it to. I'm now going to show you how to run each application and get it working in the simulator. 
In order to run the applications correctly, you must set up the following settings in the Flight Conditions menu in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Both multiplayer and air traffic need to be turned off. Once you start PSXT, it will automatically scan for deliveries and add-on airports in Microsoft Flight Simulator. If it can't find the installation path of Microsoft Flight Simulator, you must enter your customized path in the Microsoft Flight Simulator text box in the UI. But again, if you haven't changed this, this will all work automatically with these default folder locations. And this makes installing and setting up the programs really easy and hassle-free. Remember, if you do make any changes, you should exit the PSXT software, restart it, and it'll continue to automatically scan for deliveries and add-on airports. So here you can see I've just started up both applications. On the left, you've got PSXT. On the right, you've got real traffic. Now you can see how the PSXT is loading everything up. It's scanning for deliveries and airports. And now you can see the real live traffic spawning into the sim according to the real traffic radar on the right. It works exceptionally well and it's really accurate. Remember if you're not seeing a huge variety of liveries to check the AIG manager to make sure you've got those liveries downloaded and installed on your computer. That will then be reflected in the sim once you use these apps. And here's an example of the apps in action. You can see flight THA623 and you can see the accurate livery there all in real time according to both apps. It's absolutely brilliant. So by following this tutorial, you should be set up now with all three apps ready to go in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And it adds so much immersion and realism to an already amazing simulator. If you have any questions or comments about the installation process, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll do my best to get back to you. In the meantime, as always, take care and stay safe.